Brenda Pafundi. Morning. Good morning, Brenda. I didn't even know. Look, I knew about the two in 2015. My brakes were gone in the car, the car I had before this one. But I could have sworn I, I paid them when I sold the house. I don't live at 31 Belcourt anymore. Yeah. So I moved from Belcourt um, yeah. 2016. Uh -huh. But I noticed it has Belcourt in here. I have not gotten, I swear to God, one ticket in the mail saying that I owe anything or I would have paid it. <clears throat> let me I don't tell know you, what else to say. Let me tell you the procedure, okay? okay. I mean, since you're, since you're trying to take over the court, let me tell I'm you the sorry. procedure. <laughs> Inspector Quinn, I'm trying to do my job here, right? She comes up, she starts talking. She didn't give me a chance to talk. Because <laughs> it's awful. I felt like I was home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're going to start from the beginning, okay? Okay. Well, you want to sit down? Would that make you more no, comfortable? No. You all sit? I'm good. All right, this may take a while now. Okay. All right. First of all, the only reason you are here today, <laughs> yeah. the only reason is because your car was booted. Yeah, yeah. That's why you're here today. I now, know. here's what you did. <clears throat> I'll tell you what you did. Inspector Quinn, get ready for this. <laughs> now, look at Brenda, right? You know... I asked if she wanted to sit down. She said no. no. Now she, now she's lying to me, right? You mentioned home, Judge. She wanted to make herself feel like at home, comfortable. She wanted to make me feel like at home. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're looking at Brenda, and you say to yourself, Brenda's a law-abiding citizen. She's got a couple of violations. So take a guess. What is she here for? Overnight part? What are you, what's she here for? There's too many tells, Judge. I saw your paper, her paper, in the screen. So right. I'm everyone gonna, would, I'm every, go with the everyone fact. would assume you've had a parking violation. But with the two pairs of glasses that she's used oh. right now, I can understand she didn't see any of these lights. She has. Yeah. Well, I broke mine, and the arm broke, and then I dropped them, and so now I have two pairs of dollar. One to see far, one to see close, and two together to read. You got... <laughs> <laughs> what? It's too early. <laughs> you have not one, not five, not six. I know. Not eight. You have nine red light violations. I know. Nine. I know. And, I, I didn't know. And not to be outdone, you have one speeding violation. <laughs> you, want to, you want to balance it. You, know, you want to show. You want to show that you're multi-talented, that you can speed too. And this and. and Brenda, yes. This is where it's monitored by a camera. This doesn't count. The, I know. This doesn't count the times you didn't get caught. I know. And I know. And she has bifocals on. She has a that's a new <laughs> form of bifocals. She's got that's two, what it is. She's got two pair of glasses. <laughs> she's got one to see far, one Listen, to see close, and, and two, two to read. And two to read. <laughs> well, this is true. <laughs> You have a, a remarkably healthy attitude for somebody uh, who's who's facing boot, a boot on her car and everything else. So, I know. Oh, I right. better like this than the other way. Right. How come you don't speed in North Providence? You come to Providence to speed. I don't know. I don't know. Right, tell me a little bit about yourself. Hey, you, what? I mean, you make a lot of money. You, you, no, I wish. No? Do you work? No, I get a check. I have a mess. Um, how much is the check? Um, eight hundred, almost eight hundred, seven ninety-nine a month. A month. How are you going to live on it's that? It's really a nightmare. Trust me when I tell you. How much can you pay today? Huh? How much can you pay today? I don't know, seventy-five. Maybe. Seventy-five dollars. Yeah, it's way over. But can I do that? No, hundred. That's 100. O that's over your uh, budget. Yes, huh? it is. But I need my car. I can drive better than I can walk. Oh, we know you can drive. We know. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna enter you in the Daytona 500. I'm, the, I'm well, always, driving's I'm, not the problem. It seems to be the stopping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the big pedal's the one she's missing. <laughs> oh my God. But I know you have some. I know you have some health issues, and I'm not gonna get involved in your health because that's personal with you. Yeah. 
So. But I'm going to take that into consideration. And I know that you on a fixed income, and you probably had just about enough to get by after you pay your rent and you, <laughs> yeah. the gas and the insurance on the car and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, insurance kills me. I'm going to plead with you. Like, please be careful in the future. I will. I, I had no idea. I swear to God. None. You have to slow down. You have yes. to pay attention. Okay. I see that. You know, I want you to know that in this great country of ours, it is the greatest country in the world. I agree. That there are some people who are very thoughtful and very compassionate, very generous, and very understanding. In spite of the turmoil that's going on in the world yeah. and the dissension in so many areas of our society, there are some wonderful people in this world. And occasionally, because they have an opportunity to view these, these court proceedings, because out of the goodness of their heart, they have strong feelings for people who are in need. And they send in checks and ask me to use my discretion how I'm going to use these checks. And a fellow from Goshen, Indiana, huh. by the name of Robert Whelan, sent in a check for $300 for me to use my discretion as to how I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it to pay your fine. Oh my God. And I'm going to release the boot. And that's going to be the full fine for you. Oh, thank you. Because everything else would be counterproductive. Thanks. You have a very healthy attitude. <laughs> you have a very healthy attitude. Thanks. And I think we all can feel for you. Yeah. Okay, so the boot's going to get released. Brenda, with our best wishes for you. Thanks. Right, for good health. Be, be, ca be careful. Joy. I will. Okay. Say, say thank you to Mr. Wheeland. Thank you, Mr. Wheeler. Thank you. Wheeland. What is it? <laughs> you got the wrong guy. <laughs> good luck, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you, though. Besides seeing you on TV. Thank you. Thank you. In my role as a judge, I have to balance many factors when rendering a verdict. Probably the most difficult is weighing the personal circumstances of the motorist against my obligation to the city. Today, an act of kindness made my job easy. Mr. Whelan, thank you for your generosity. It not only gave Brenda a much needed break, it was also a good reminder that we should always share a slice of our daily bread with those in need. Rini Gonzalez. Is it Renee or Rainey? Renee. <laughs> Renee, okay. Let's see, Renee, you have a state of Rhode Island fleet operations, and you, there's one ticket that you are, you are claiming you were operating the vehicle on that day. Is that right? Yes. Okay, and that was a red light violation on Eddie and Dudley. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to tell me about this? Well, it was just an emergency case at Hasbro, so I just... I work for DCYF, so I had an emergency case at Hasbro. Yeah, what was the emergency? Oh, it was just a kid that was at Hasbro, supposedly. He was being abused by dad, so. You work for DCYF? Yeah. You're doing God's work, you know that. I've heard. <laughs> Let's take a look at the red light violation. All right, so right on red. Uh, <clears throat> and that's the one. And you were on your way to Hasbro at the time? Yeah. When you got to Hasbro, were you, were you able to defuse the situation? Oh, yeah. Usually, I'm pretty good at it. So. <laughs> well, with your personality, you probably can just calm them down. You don't yell at them and all that Oh, stuff. no, not at all. No. What's the first thing you do? Um, I try to kind of like approach it like as a relatable person, kind of put myself in their shoes, so it works. <laughs> I'm going I'm I'm to tell you something, okay? People ask me you know, what I do up here on the bench. Mm -hmm. And I tell them that many people who appear before me, their circumstances are so dire, right, that actually I try to look at the world through their eyes, mm -hmm. you know, like put myself in their situation. And that's why sometimes, sometimes I'm accused of being too lenient because I help, I'll, I'll try to help someone who I think needs it. Yes. But when you, look at, when you look at the world through somebody else's eyes, you know, instead of from this exalted position, mm -hmm. you get a different perspective. Yep. You know. And I'm looking at the world through your eyes now, and I'm trying to figure out why you were speeding on Reservoir Avenue. Yeah, <laughs> why no. were you speeding on Reservoir <laughs> Avenue? 
I honestly cannot remember that. I know I was out on a case, but I cannot remember what case. All so. Right. Well, you were one mile over the limit that I'm dismissing cases for. So we're going to give you a break on that. Okay. And hope that you keep up your good work. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on. How cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow. Your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtinprovidence.com. Click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.